Good morning, class. Welcome to today's lesson. I am Miss Jane. We will read today's story together, and later I will read a small part of the story as you repeat after me. In this story, Olivia, feeling bored on a rainy day, finds creative ways to entertain herself indoors by drawing, reading, and writing stories. She realizes that even on a rainy day, she can have fun and be productive. Please like and subscribe. Comment in your language or English if you can. Let's dive into the story. A Rainy Day Olivia was bored. It was a rainy day, and she couldn't play outside. She looked out the window and saw the rain pouring down. She sighed and wondered what she could do to have fun. Olivia decided to find something fun to do indoors. First, she went to her room and found her drawing supplies. She loved to draw and paint. She got out her crayons, markers, and paper. Olivia sat at her desk and started drawing a picture of a rainbow. She used all her favorite colors and drew the sun peeking out from behind the clouds. After finishing her drawing, Olivia felt a little happier. She decided to show her mom. Look, mom. I drew a rainbow, Olivia said proudly. Her mom smiled and said, That's beautiful, Olivia. You are so creative. Next, Olivia went to the living room. She saw her favorite books on the shelf. Olivia loved reading stories about adventures and animals. She picked up a book about a brave little puppy and sat on the couch. She opened the book and started reading. The story was so exciting that she forgot all about the rain outside. After a while, Olivia finished reading the book. She felt happy and inspired by the puppy's adventures. She decided to write her own story. Olivia got a notebook and a pen and started writing about a little girl who went on a magical adventure in a forest. She had fun creating new characters and imagining exciting places. The rain continued to fall, but Olivia didn't mind anymore. She was having so much fun drawing, reading, and writing. She realized that even on a rainy day, she could find creative ways to have fun indoors. By the end of the day, Olivia had a stack of drawings, a finished book, and a new story she had written. She felt proud of herself for making the best of a rainy day. Olivia smiled and thought, Rainy days can be fun, too. Before we do some reading practice, let us go through a list of a few vocabulary words in the story. Here are ten vocabulary words from the story, along with their meanings and example sentences. Bored. Meaning feeling weary and impatient because one is unoccupied or lacks interest in one's current activity. Sample sentence Olivia was bored because it was raining and she couldn't play outside. Pouring, meaning flowing or falling rapidly and in great quantities. Example sentence she looked out the window and saw the rain pouring down. Supplies meaning the materials or equipment needed for a particular activity. Example sentence first. She went to her room and found her drawing supplies. Rainbow. Meaning an arc of colors formed in the sky in certain circumstances, caused by the refraction and dispersion of the sun's light by rain or other water droplets. Example sentence Olivia sat at her desk and started drawing a picture of a rainbow. Proudly. 
you, meaning with a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements or the achievements of those with whom one is closely associated. Sample sentence look, Mom. I drew a rainbow, Olivia said proudly. Creative, meaning relating to or involving the use of the imagination or original ideas to create something. Sample sentence that's beautiful, Olivia. You are so creative, her mom said. Adventures. Meaning an unusual and exciting, typically hazardous, experience or activity. Example sentence Olivia loved reading stories about adventures and animals. Exciting. Meaning causing great enthusiasm and eagerness. Example sentence the story was so exciting that she forgot all about the rain outside. Inspired. Meaning of extraordinary quality. As if arising from some external creative impulse. Example sentence, she felt happy and inspired by the puppy's adventures. Magical. Meaning beautiful or delightful in such a way as to seem removed from everyday life. Example sentence, Olivia got a notebook and a pen and started writing about a little girl who went on a magical adventure in a forest. Great. Now let us do some speaking practice. Olivia was bored. Olivia was bored. It was a rainy day. It was a rainy day. And she couldn't play outside. And she couldn't play outside. She looked out the window. She looked out the window. and saw the rain pouring down. And saw the rain pouring down. She sighed and wondered what she could do to have fun. She sighed and wondered what she could do to have fun. Olivia decided to find something fun to do indoors. Olivia decided to find something fun to do indoors. First, she went to her room. First, she went to her room. and found her drawing supplies. And found her drawing supplies. She loved to draw and paint. She loved to draw and paint. She got out her crayons, markers, and paper. She got out her crayons, markers, and paper. Olivia sat at her desk. 
Olivia sat at her desk. and started drawing a picture of a rainbow. And st started drawing a picture of a rainbow. She used all her favorite colors. She used all her favorite colors. and drew the sun peeking out from behind the clouds. And drew the sun peeking out from behind the clouds. After finishing her drawing, after finishing her drawing, Olivia felt a little happier. Olivia felt a little happier. She decided to show her mom. She decided to show her mom. Look, Mom. I drew a rainbow. Olivia said proudly. Look, Mom. I drew a rainbow. Olivia said proudly. Her mom smiled and said, That's beautiful, Olivia. Her mom smiled and said, That's beautiful, Olivia. You are so creative. You are so creative. Next, Olivia went to the living room. Next, Olivia went to the living room. She saw her favorite books on the shelf. She saw her favorite books on the shelf. Olivia loved reading stories about adventures and animals. Olivia loved reading stories about adventures and animals. She picked up a book about a brave little puppy. She picked up a book about a brave little puppy. And sat on the couch. And sat on the couch. She opened the book and started reading. She opened the book and started reading. The story was so exciting. The story was so exciting. That she forgot all about the rain outside.
that she forgot all about the rain outside. After a while, Olivia finished reading the book. After a while, Olivia finished reading the book. She felt happy and inspired by the puppy's adventures. She felt happy and inspired by the puppy's adventures. She decided to write her own story. She decided to write her own story. Olivia got a notebook and a pen. Olivia got a notebook and a pen. And started writing about a little girl. And started writing about a little girl. Who went on a magical adventure in a forest. Who went on a magical adventure in a forest. She had fun creating new characters. She had fun creating new characters. And imagining exciting places. And imagining exciting places. The rain continued to fall. The rain continued to fall. But Olivia didn't mind anymore. But Olivia didn't mind anymore. She was having so much fun drawing, reading, and writing. She was having so much fun drawing, reading, and writing. She realized that even on a rainy day, She realized that even on a rainy day, she could find creative ways to have fun indoors. She could find creative ways to have fun indoors. By the end of the day, Olivia had a stack of drawings. By the end of the day, Olivia had a stack of drawings. A finished book and a new story she had written. A finished book and a new story she had written. She felt proud of herself for making the best of a rainy day. She felt proud of herself for making the best of a rainy day.
Well done. I believe that now you are better at English speaking. It was very nice having you today. I hope you learned a lot. See you in the next lesson.